647, breaking overnight, a woman is in the hospital after a shooting here in the city. This happened around midnight. The victim, 37 years old, is expected to live. The victim was found on Katy Street. Police tell us the shooting actually happened near Jefferson Avenue and Champlain Street. There are no suspects in custody. Two people accused of kidnapping a woman for sex trafficking from a hotel in Henrietta have been arraigned on new charges, sex trafficking and promoting prostitution. Cordell Brooks and Shantiana Sims, both 27 years old, pleaded not guilty yesterday. The next hearing for them coming up in September and November. Their trial date is currently scheduled for January. Today marks one year since Rochester police officer Anthony Mazurkiewicz was shot and killed in the line of duty. His partner, Officer Sino Singh, was also shot that night. He survived. When they were attacked, the officers were working a potential lead on a homicide case. They were ambushed and shot in an unmarked vehicle. An innocent bystander, a teen girl, was also hit. The Mazurkiewicz family released a statement this week thanking the community for its ongoing support. When someone is going through a mental health crisis here in Monroe County, the Sheriff's Office says it has available teams and resources there to help these people get the services they might need. Hayden Wentworth spoke with deputies about the resources they have, that they're not just important for these people at the middle of these calls, but also for neighbors and the community. Hayden. Brennan, MCSO MCSO has seen an increase of these mental health crisis calls over the past few years. Now they have the right resources to make sure that every call is answered in the right way. Now, sometimes known as mental hygiene crisis calls are not new to MCSO. And over the years, the Sheriff's Office has built a team that's designed to handle for just that. Their crisis intervention team and the forensic intervention team work together to make sure that whoever is in need of medical attention or care can receive it. it. We have contact with the individual and we may take them to the hospital. Um, the FIT team will follow up with them. They may connect them with other resources within the community, you know, whether they're um, dealing with some substance abuse issues or if they need some type of outpatient therapy, um, anything like that. The FIT team has those resources readily available and they can ensure that people are able to get to those services. And for those who may be interested in applying before the recruitment deadline closes on August 4th, Lieutenant Unterborn says that deputies who are interested in CIT training can receive that. Brennan. All right, Hayden, thank you for looking into that. By the way, if you or a loved one is going through a mental health crisis at any point, 24-7, there is support for you. You can call the National Suicide Hotline 988 or the local Lifeline at 211. We'll have more support options for you posted in our coverage today at rochesterfirst.com. Four Rochester rec centers are offering emotional health and wellness support services for kids and their families. Licensed community-based child and family therapists, along with social learning specialists, specialists are available. Mayor Malik Evans says this is a very important step in helping city youth. Adding the need for this kind of help keeps on growing. There are informational sessions to learn more about the program for the next three Wednesdays. We have more information in this story as well on our website. And all of the city's 11 R centers are open Monday to Friday from 8:30 until 7:30. Nurses at RGH have voted to go on strike after. After months of bargaining, the nurses union says more than 90% of voters were in favor of this. Hospital leaders say they're disappointed the union would consider a strike and they were focused on negotiations. They add this outcome will be bad for all, including patients. The strike is expected to officially begin early next month. A man from Rochester convicted of robbing and killing another man in April last year has been sentenced to 25 years to life. According to prosecutors, last spring, Omar Hughley was celebrating his birthday at a bar on Main Street in the city when Daryl Griffin robbed him at gunpoint before shooting and killing him. Griffin was on parole at the time with an ankle monitor. That was for a previous weapons conviction. The United and Healing Through Hope chapter of Monroe County took another stand against recent gun violence here in the city. The march and rally last night comes just a week after another homicide in Rochester. That one, the case of a 37-year-old man killed on Genesee Street. Rally organizers say to stop the violence movement is meant to continue their mission of bringing attention to the ongoing crime, not just here in the city but also around the U.S. We want to shine such a bright light mm -hmm. that people will say, you know, we can't accept this type of violence and this murder. And it's not snitching. It's telling the truth. We cannot go to sleep or be in peace 
if our streets are unsafe and people are continuously doing violence. They are also encouraging people around Rochester to make their voices heard to continue bringing peace to the community. Eight minutes to go until 7 o'clock. Let's get one quick check of the morning forecast with meteorologist James Gilbert. Storms overnight. We'll catch a little break today, but might have something pop up later on. Yeah, that's right. In fact, we've got a couple of light rain showers just slid through Leroy. This one uh, downpour heading toward Honey Eye Falls, Little Caledonia, kind of riding right along uh, Route 20 just north of Avon. Uh, that's going to move through, I would say, the next 15 to 20 minutes. Then we get some break time, then some more isolated showers do pop up. Uh, if we're spending any time along Lake Ontario, we've got water temperature just about as warm as it can get in the 70s, and then afternoon highs near 80, both Saturday and Sunday. We'll take a look at the eight day at the end of the show. Brennan. All right, thank you, James. Sunrise traffic, 653. Out on the east side, 590 looking okay, 390 as well, headed towards Henrietta, but 390 near the airport. That's where we've had the main issue all morning, a rollover with right lanes blocked between Brooks and Chai Light Avenue. Those exits we will check sunrise traffic again during CBS mornings at 725. Later tonight, downtown at the ballpark, the Red Wings are hosting Cancer Survivors Night. The Wilmot Cancer Institute invites hundreds of survivors to take part in this every year. Such a special night, there will be a pregame ceremony during the anthem along with fireworks after the game. First pitch if you're headed down there, 645. Some of the best junior golfers in the whole world will be here next week at Monroe Golf Club, joining the likes of Tiger Woods and Dustin Johnson who have played in the tournament. The Monroe Invitational has been moved back a few weeks this year to fit better into the amateur schedule and has paid off with a stronger and deeper field. A 50% increase in the top 1,000 golfers in the world rankings. The tourney chairman, Mason Grower, I played with him yesterday. He says the new date isn't the only reason the field keeps getting better. I think it's completely due to, first of all, the hard work that the committee does, uh, but also the culture of Monroe Golf Club and of Rochester, right? We're a big golf town. You saw it this year with the uh, PGA Championship. And I think when the players come, they feel very welcome. They feel the excitement, and they like coming back. And that'll be a fun time next week with some of the best young golfers everywhere. The GRE Morning Business Report changes coming to the mall at Grease Ridge. JD Sports will soon call it home. That addition will call some stores to move, including Finish Line and Hot Topic. Restocked also moving in in early August. Wingstop is set to open at the end of summer, and Apple Cinema has been confirmed to open next year where Regal was previously located. Try to enjoy the weekend as well. Things look really good both Saturday and Sunday. Plenty of sunshine highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. Just a random shower chance. It's going to be warming up, though, next week. We're going to have a lot to talk about with some big heat, looks like, by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Just in time for all the Bills players to be here yeah. for training camp. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. wherever you are on rochesterfirst.com facebook twitter and on our app for news and weather